Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Brittany here with another video to help you guys live a happy, healthy, awesome life in a wheelchair. And today I'm gonna sit down with you guys and have a cup of hot water. It's not even tea. I'm just drinking hot water like a weirdo. Uh, and talk to you guys about what it feels like to not feel your legs. I get asked this question all the time, especially from little kids when I'm like substitute teaching in younger grades. They'll be like, really? You really can't feel your legs? Like, what if I just did this? And they'll like touch my leg. And then they're like, but what if I did this? And then they'll like try and pinch it. Or they'll like, you know, like what if somebody stabbed you in the leg? Like they're just always so, I don't know, flabbergasted that I like wouldn't be able to feel any of those things. Um, and no, I really couldn't feel them. I have done dangerous things to my legs before, not on purpose. I'm not like out there stabbing my legs just to test it out, but I've burnt my legs, um, like third degree burns with hot water. I've like dropped a 10 pound weight on my foot. Nothing. Didn't feel any of that. So I really can't feel my legs, but what does that feel like? Everybody always wonders like, what does it feel like when your body is paralyzed? Does it feel like you're floating? Uh, like in the air above like your body parts that you can't feel. And I don't know what the answer is for everybody because I'm not everybody, I'm just me. But I'll tell you what the answer is for me um, and what it feels like to be paralyzed for me. Uh, and for me, it doesn't really feel like I don't have a body because I have something called phantom sensation. So in this video, I'm gonna sort of explain what phantom sensation is and then explain to you what my phantom sensation feels like and why it still feels like I have a body. It doesn't feel like I'm like floating uh, chest up, like that would be weird. I do sometimes feel like I uh, am a top, like I'm balancing on my other body parts because I don't have core or tummy muscles really. So it does feel weird when you are first paralyzed and you have to get used to that because it feels like you're like balancing on a noodle or something like that. Um, and you don't have the, like, you just don't have the core support. So first let's talk about what phantom sensation is. Um, and it's really not that complicated. If you've heard of phantom sensation before, it's the definition of it is basically just feeling a body part that isn't either there or that you can't actually feel. Like you feel like you feel it. Um, and this I think was first like documented in like war veterans that like actually had like an amputation and they were like, my hand is still itchy, even though they literally physically did not have a hand. And so that's why they call it phantom sensation. And it's the same thing in paralyzed people. So if you have sensation or feel like you have sensation that your brain interprets as sensation, but you don't actually have that feeling, if somebody were to touch you, that's phantom sensation as well. So that's what I have essentially for the, my body parts that are paralyzed. I don't actually have physical feeling of them. I don't have sensation, but it feels like I do because my brain is constantly feeling or interpreting like the my legs, what they used to feel like. And the way a doctor explained this to me is that phantom sensation is a record of what your, the last thing at the point at which you stopped feeling. So like if you were amputated at your elbow, so the, the cells that are at the, the very bottom of where you got your amputation, those cells have like a memory. The nerve cells have a memory of what the nerve cells that used to send signals up towards them would give them. It was basically like the last signal they got, that is what they replay on a loop, like a record just going, round and round and round. It's just playing on a, on a recorded loop what the last sensory input they got was and they're sending that back up to your brain. And so for me, my spinal cord injury at my level of injury, the last sort of sensation that those um, cells, those nerve cells in my spinal cord got from the sensory input from the bottom of my body that's paralyzed now, what those cells got was like my legs falling asleep. So because my nerves were, obviously the nerves were dying there and they couldn't send proper signals. So the last signals that my level of injury, the top of my level of injury just before I'm paralyzed got was just like that white noise, tingling feeling like your legs are falling asleep. And so that is what like my whole lower half of my body feels like. It always feels like my legs, like if you've sat on your foot for too long 
and you get up and it's fallen asleep and it's like pins and needles. That's what my legs feel like all of my life, every day, all day long. Um, and it used to drive me freaking crazy. Like it, it can imagine if that was like just what your whole bottom of your body felt like all day long. And nerve pain is like a separate thing with the phantom sensation, but it can sometimes be intense. Like it can make that feeling really, really, really intense and make the, the signals that feel like my legs are asleep, almost like a burning, a burning pins and needles instead of just like a, a normal pins and needles. And if I think about, I think about like a part of my body, like my toe, that pins and needles gets it so intense. And I know that people are gonna say in the comments, well, that means that you have some connection with your brain. It's just not enough to like get all the way down there. And that might be entirely true, I don't know. Um, I've never really like, you know, explored enough to like where I'm concentrating on that feeling long enough for it to come back. Who knows? I don't know. But I just know that when I concentrate on like my knee, like right now I'm concentrating on my right knee, the pins and needles feeling gets like really intense in that part of my body that my brain thinks it can feel, if that makes sense. Um, because I don't think it's actually feeling anything. I think it's what the doctor said. It's just sort of like the last sensory input that my spinal cord got from the nerves that were below that were dying. Um, it's just playing that on a loop. So I hope that made sense. I hope that made sense about what phantom sensation is. Like it's essentially feeling something you don't actually feel, uh, or your brain interpreting something as a feeling, but that you don't actually have a physical feeling for. Um, and then um, my phantom sensation, which is like pins and needles all the time, because it's just like that playing on a loop with the last sensory input that those cells got. Um, and then they send that last sensory input up to your brain all the time. It's just like, oh, I remember what that felt like. And they just keep sending it up. Yeah, that's, that's my, I don't know if I'm like, I never know if I'm making any sense at all. People were like, oh, you're, you're so, you explain it so well. And I'm like, am I, am I really? I feel like I'm just rambling on about like things that are not coherent to you guys. But anyway, that's, that's the best way that I can explain it. So that's what my body feels like to be paralyzed. It's weird to have to like balance on my uh, floppy core, which is like definitely stronger the more I work out and like try. Um, but when I was first paralyzed, I remember sitting on the edge of a bed and my like physiotherapist like pushing me and like making me like sit up and it would be like you know those bobble things that you like push on and then they like come back like that that's what it felt like like she would push on me and i would go back and then i would find my center of balance again and it was like it was a game and it was probably really fun for her but i was just like this sucks um and i still lose my balance every once in a while and can't find it again and then i just like fall and bonk my head on something random or look like a moron but hey, it comes with the territory and I'm less worried about it now. I don't worry about, you know, other people thinking I look weird anymore because I'm more confident in who I am and what I bring to the world. And I really don't give a shit if somebody thinks I look stupid because I've fallen over because I'll probably never see them again. But sometimes if I'm like in a setting where I like will see the people again, I'm like, I just want to qualify that I don't have like stomach muscles. So I didn't fall because I'm a moron. I fell because I actually lost my balance. Um, but it's funny to watch other people lose their balance. I think it is anyway. <laughs> I laugh so hard when people fall and it's unkind, but it's the best. It's so funny when people fall. Um, even like, dangerously falling and you're like, are you okay? I sw I'm sorry, I'm laughing, are you okay? Um, and then you're like trying to help in between like, you know, hysterical laughs. Or maybe I'm the only one. Maybe you guys are gonna be like, she's a serial killer. She's weird. Um, or maybe I'm not weird. I don't know, maybe that's just like a normal thing. I've always wondered that. Why is it funny for people to laugh when people hurt themselves? Like, why is that a thing? Cause it's like an instant reflex. Like people get canned in the junk, like, you just want to laugh. I don't know why it's so funny, even though that person's like so hurt. Um, and like somebody falls down the stairs or something, like it's, it's funny. I don't know why. And human instinct is to laugh at them. Maybe that's like the survival of the fittest. Like, eh, -huh. your Darwin like doesn't like you today. I don't know. Anyway, I just rambled for the last like two minutes of this video and my batteries 
gonna die, uh, so I'm gonna go. But that's what it feels like to be paralyzed, for me anyway. Not everybody's the same, so don't go writing comments in the bottom that you know somebody you know is different. Well, you can, you can share it with me. I'm happy to hear all of your stories. Uh, and I read all the comments, I just don't respond to all of them because you guys are commenting a lot, which I love. I just don't have time to respond to them all. But don't go commenting that I'm wrong. That's what I'm saying, because I'm right about me. I might be wrong about other people, but I'm right about me. So that's what it feel, feels like to be paralyzed for me. Anyway, um, it's Friday. I'm going to go write an email to my uh, email list. If you're on it, you'll get it. If you're not on it, then get on it if you want to. I'm not telling you what to do, but you should, because sometimes I write emails and sometimes I don't. Sometimes I leave you hanging and ghost you for like, six months but hey i'm just like one of those people that likes to uh keep things interesting i guess uh, anyway for the third time i'm gonna go have a great day it's friday if you're watching this on a friday have a great weekend if it's a different day that you're watching this have a great day week monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday whatever day you're watching this have a great day i love you guys all and i will catch you back here on another video bye